Okay. I'm probably going to get some of this wrong. I've been out fishing since 4 in the morning. I'm tired, but anyway. Um, team speak through settings, connection bookmarks, tools, all the rest of it. Just going to have a quick run through, tell you how to get the most out of it and set it up. I've already done a video on the, um, yeah, basic on how to connect. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you again as before. We'll start out, get a website going. Here's one I made earlier. I've got a TeamSpeak uh, address there, an IP address. This one's also got the uh, the port on it. It's running on our website so we can see who's in it. Uh, yep, we'll copy that. Same as we did before. And go connections, go connect. It's already in there, and I'll bung it in there anyway. Paste. Um, and there's server password if you need one. You can, yeah, put nicknames in and extra stuff, but uh, basically that's it. Oh, look, there's my ugly mug. So that's in, you're in. So what we'll do is now is if you want to save that, we want to add to bookmarks. Here, you can put all the... Uh, details in it's got there server password if you need it and default channel but it'll always default to the one where you go I've already got it in there Let's see bookmarks these are all the bookmarks so you can click on them and jump straight into a, uh, a channel we'll go to tools learn how to re configure it all and uh, now what we've got here is capture voice activation detection is what I always leave it on I went through this before blah 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 you can see I'm talking um, it usually it's supposed to pick you up you can see there this bar here this is where I want to keep it sort of keeps the background noise out I can keep talking into it and talk pretty loud and yeah it's it's picking me up but it cuts out you can adjust this up and down for when it kicks in for your ambient noise I'll just leave it there because uh, that's it uh, seems to work pretty well for me I can have the family next to me pretty good and making a little bit of noise but uh, yeah as I said before if it's going to be excessive while you're racing then it's courteous, don't want to be an asshole, everybody hear what's going on, so you go push to talk, you can grab this button, and then you go push, push a button on your um, wheel, whatever you want, and that'll set it, that's on my Fanatec wheel, push to talk, so there you go, we'll stop test, so that's done. Um, always leave the echo reduction, echo cancellation on, everything's pretty normal here, I don't play with these. Um, that's probably why, the other thing too is why it's not hearing me, because I'm not talking on my Rift at the moment, I'm talking on a normal headset. You can see here, if I change to the front mic, and then we'll go back to the voice activation, go be begin test, you can see that it's activating uh, it'll switch on because my voice is going over the top of that but it's not going to pick up as I said the background noise so I'll switch it back to my riff so I don't forget I think that's done um, the other things too is uh, I suppose yeah always leave it automatically best mode um, the other things too is uh, playback yeah, we'll discard those because I've already done it. Um, now, this is a balance. Yeah, if you you got to play with your sound and your R factor and then, you know, get it sounding nice so it doesn't blow your ear holes out and, or be too soft. Get it how you like it. Um, and then you can adjust these to boost it to, say, you can, yeah, match the sound when you're in the game so you're not getting drowned out by your, your motors. You can still hear everybody. So, I usually uh, 
yeah, I'll just bump this up a bit. Uh, that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty basic settings. That's going to get you set up to what you want to do. And get it going. Uh, application. Never really played any with this. TeamSpeak. Actually, I probably should log into this. I haven't. I've got a TeamSpeak account. Um, I believe this way too. Once you're all logged in, there is an app as well for being able to um, listen to people on your phone and talk on the phone as well. Uh, I haven't played with the design of it. It's all pretty good. Yeah. Add-ons, all the rest of it. I'll go into that. I've actually played with the Overwolf settings, but we'll show you later. Um, now I've got a, a mute key, you can assign hotkeys to do different things in here, I've got a toggle microphone mute button, which I'm sure is the the down key, I pressed it, the menu went down, but um, yeah, I just press the down key on the keyboard to mute it, like if something's going on, like I said, you're on voice activation detection, and you want to, um, drown out the noise or you want to walk away from your machine for a second press that uh, whisper I've never really got into that so it's yeah I haven't, I haven't really needed to use it uh, downloads now this is cool because uh, when you be sharing stuff you can share files and everything through um, this system through TeamSpeak so, uh, through. so it automatically goes to your downloads. I've left all the settings the same. Um, chat settings that I've left it all as is. Standard security, same as that. Um, messages there, disconnect, leaving. It's yeah. I've 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 set this all pretty right. Um, sound pack, yeah, female, whatever. That's when you change channel and do stuff the channel switched and yeah, that's the, the sound pack uh, double click to change into a room look I'll go to the GT3 racing room and there it is um, now yeah, so there's some other pretty cool stuff in here so under self um, capture profile playback profile it's all default hotkey profile default that's all to do with your um, settings I just went through before um, set away you know that's also this button up here you can click that and it'll just say that basically you're away so you're in the room but yeah, you're not there the lights are on no one's home click that and you're back on again um, yeah there mute microphone all that all those settings are up here mute microphone mute speakers all the rest of it change nickname there you go you can edit your name done um, and oh yep, yeah, set your avatar like I've done there. Pick a photo, bung it in. Comes up with an ugly mug like that. Look at that. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing too is is down here we've got chat. Blah blah blah. Chat comes up so you can chat with people. Um, this is in the main room. Then you can actually select the G two three racing room that I'm in and it'll tell you everything when you've been in there when you've left who said what messages saves it all so that's pretty good I um, suppose the other thing is is uh, in the tools we'll go through this quickly um, and we've got file transfers you can see it'll come up with a list of everything that's been uh, transferred you can, as I said, share files through this, so uh, that's pretty cool. So if you want to share something with someone, uh, you can bung a file in there and, and download it off them and a link will come up and it will show you a list of everything that's there. Uh, so identities, contacts, uh, identities, yeah, I've never really fussed with that. Uh, contacts, it will show people that you've marked as, as friends online, not really worried boy you know you did need it unless you've got a million people on there collected URLs now this is a cool one 
everything that gets shared in this talk box. So if I go down and uh, put a web address or do something in there and post it to someone to give them a link, all your links are, are saved up here, collected URLs. Everything that everybody's shared with me or done in the past and who it's from, that's pretty cool. Um, yep, yeah, file transfers, invite buddy, give it the link. That's it, and if you send them that, they will be able to click on that link and go straight into the, the room where you are and uh, connect straight up. Yeah, I don't know if what I'm missing, but yeah, whisper lists, all that, ban lists. Look at this, there, people, you can ban them so they can't get back into the server. We've never had to do that yet, so yeah, it's been pretty good. You can actually record what you're doing as well, record all the uh, the talk. Um, the other thing too is, is I, did I install Overwolf? No, I did. Now, Overwolf, I uh, found it, didn't, couldn't get it going, I don't think, in VR, but that's an overlay of who's talking. Um, that's pretty cool. If you go up here, Overwolf, I don't know why, website, video's not loading. But uh, basically, once you've installed Overwolf, um, an overlay will come up, and you can select where you want it in the game, and you'll be able to see who's talking while you're racing up in the corner without having to look off screen. But uh, as I said, I tried to get it going in VR. I don't know why it didn't work. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't work. But at the end of the day, that's it. Um, just how to get it going. Uh, there you go, contacts, that's it. It's it's all pretty basic, but as I said, yeah, configure it. Main things are your, uh, your tools and your options. Once you've got this screen up, the main ones, playback, and your, your capture. Uh, and they're the, they're the main ones to, to play with to get it configured to the way you like it. So, mainly we've made this video for yeah, people with our league. Um, trying to work out team speak, newcomers, all the rest of it. So, very basic. Well, it's not massive in depth one, but I, I think I've crapped on long enough. So there you go. That's it. It's uh, that's uh, TS in a nutshell.